Oh hey, what's going on guys? <clears throat> Big Country, welcome back to Country Living. I just want to have a little chat with you. Uh, I just got home from work, I'm tired, it's late. But I need to re-whip my cotton because I put a flavor in here today that um, it's good. It's really, I mean, it's a good flavor. I like the juice. But it's one of those flavor lingerers, you know what I mean? It's like normally you can do multiple flavors in a cotton throughout the day and not worry about any lingering of the past flavors after a few puffs of you switching it. But there's also those ones that will just linger all fucking day long and you just kind of taste it no matter what juice you put in there. And uh, grape, being, grape flavor being one of those. Grape seems to never go away out of the cotton. Uh, and uh, mint or menthol. That always seems to be an issue on, in my experience. So I'm here changing the cotton, but I wanted to talk to you. I want to ask you something. My first look and final thought videos. Here's the thing. When I do my first look videos, those are actually my first look. I mean, I haven't had the product unopened. I mean, because hell, look, I had the Predator that's going up Monday. It's not even been opened yet. The cellophane, I opened the cellophane right before I did the recording. And uh, so this is actually the first times when these products are in my hands. So what I do is I go through it and I'm checking it out live and in front of you and it's like again it's why it's it's why it's called a first look because it is my first why am i taking i'm not changing coils i'm just changing cotton but here i am taking the freaking grub screws loose did i change anything up no nah, still too i don't need this i just need cotton and tweezers <laughs> and scissors um anyway it's 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 actually the first time that i'm seeing this stuff uh in front of you right so my question is well so and then what i do is at the end of the video i say i'll use it for a few days and then i'll come back on using on friday for my final thoughts video right on that on that particular product now, but during the first look part, you know, where it is my first time, I do catch myself by watching my own videos by playback, that I kind of catch myself, you know, sometimes talking slow, um, talking, or just going, or pausing sometimes long breaks, long for, for you know, more than, more than I should in a video. Now, I, I pause longer than that in real life while I'm doing that, but editing, I, I chop a bunch of it out. But, <clears throat> let's take a Take a vape. I don't even know what I got in this thing. This is the icon though. All oh, banana shake, yeah. So as I'm looking at this product for the first time in my hands, you know, I'm going, sometimes my thoughts are, I'm, I'm trying to gather my thoughts as I'm looking at it because I'm taking attention to it. I'm looking at it. Trying to see, you know, what the details and maybe some features that I might not even know about. And that's why I don't watch a lot of reviews on these products before I get them because I want it to be the true first look. I don't want to have too much knowledge going into it, but I also have some sort of idea of what's going to happen. But, and then like I said, after I use it for a few days, then uh, Friday is usually my in-depth review final thoughts video. And if you look on this past Friday, it's like a 25-minute video when I was talking about the smoke tech G Prif touchscreen and the Peerless RDA that I comboed up with them. Uh, that's a 25 minute video, it's pretty long for me. So let me know your thoughts. If you like the actual true first look, or should I try to follow a trend like everybody else, get the product, use it for a few days, and then do a first look through the unboxing for you, let you know what's in the box, and then tell you what my thoughts are. Because right now, the way I'm doing it, I'm only doing one full review of one device a week. And that, or or two if it's a mod and an RDA separately, uh, which would be the, the initial first look on Monday, and then Friday will be the final thoughts uh, after a week of using it. Now you have seen the Ferro RTA unboxing this week, uh, the Icon unboxing this week, and the GoBad unboxing this week. Now, I think in my video, I may have referred to them as a first look, but they really wasn't because if you notice the actual first look on my Monday's videos, it's because through the architectural thing, right? So 
But on those other unboxings, I feel like I should go ahead and get them out because they're new products. They just hit the market. People are wanting to look for them, and I feel like I should get the unboxing part of it out uh, just to you know try to get some more, generate some more um, attention to the channel and get more people here and try to. So I can. I still haven't got my custom link yet. I need a hundred subscribers to get my custom link, so I haven't got it yet. So anyway, I figured I need to get the, the new items out first because all the other stuff that I have are not brand new. They're still newer, but they're not brand new. So it's not going to attract much traction as something to say, let's say the, the Ferro RTA that was just released or the Icon RDA that was just released, you know? So you got the unboxing videos of those, but you won't have the final review of those for a few weeks until I get to the product or the mod that I want to pair them up with and use them for that week, right? So. That's my question to you. Should I get it for a few days? Should I get it, open it up, use it for a few days, and then do the entire thing, open and my final thoughts on it on the same video? Or should I keep it as is, do the unboxing or the, uh, the first look on Monday, and then Friday after I use it for a good four or five, three or four days, then do my an in-depth review, final thoughts video on it? And in between, of course, I'll have whatever. You know, if I get a new RDA or a new mod or something that needs to be opened during the week, it'll go up on the channel, but it'll be as an unboxing, not really a first look. Because my first look series, you know, you know the style of it. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's what I wanted to ask you. I want uh, this. This is this is what is it? Sunday? Yeah, this is Sunday. So you're seeing this on Sunday. I'm gonna try to do like maybe one of these kind of vlog type videos a week, just to sit down and talk to you face to face and just chill. And We'll see what happens, but I do really need your feedback on this. Because after all, you are the viewers. And you're the ones watching this stuff. We don't do this. We don't do videos for ourselves. We do videos for you guys. So I really, really... want and need your opinion and I'm all about honesty I don't I don't beat around the bush about nothing I'm straight up truthful I don't want you to beat around the bush either be a hundred percent with me if you like what I do then great if you don't like what I do then that's say that's fine too give me some tips for improvement or whatever you think that you would like then I'll go that route so <clears throat> but I think that's pretty much it that's uh Clean these off, burn them off. Ooh. Let's see if we can't burn off the gunk. There we go. Nice. I usually run water over them, but they're only a few days old anyway, so. Don't really need it right now. That was enough to just burn them off. So. Yeah, that was good. I need to tighten this other one back up because it's not glowing as fast as the other. I screwed up my coils because I'm an idiot. So anyway, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, please. And I really, I really need it and I value your opinion. So that's it for right now. A little chat. I do thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. And don't forget to give me your feedback at the bottom. And until the next video, <laughs> let's make a mess. Just keep on vaping and living, baby.